I found this to be absolutely hilarious because it's going viral and it shows the massive cultural gap into what modern kids, more likely Zoomers, have learned from school and culture versus what their parents believe. And in this situation, this guy finds out that his mother is a pro-shipper. So uh, from my understanding, a pro-shipper is uh, a person who watches fiction and then finds two characters within fiction and tries to romantically connect them with each other. So basically, uh, the Winchester brothers, that actually is very popular. Yes. And then they unite the first letter of one character with the last letters from the name of the other character. So for example, when you say scene, it means Sam and Dean Winchester together making love. This is what the community does. It's out of my... I'm not doing this. This is what the community does. Especially women. Like, this is... And by the way, like, there's nothing harmful with it, right? Like, it's fiction. Uh, this is uh, female romantica. They do it with almost every single TV show that is popular with the ladies. Uh, they do it with Game of Thrones. Uh, they do it with uh, The Walking Dead. Right? Like, like it's something that um, exists in various fandoms. They combine two characters from a universe and then they write uh, romantic stories, uh, sometimes uh, a little bit of ERP with those characters. So this son is horrified because, oh my god, my mother is married. Why is she doing this? Um, and he knows this because uh, Luna Soul came up and I said I didn't want to support her because of her whole thing. And my mom's talking, talking about how it's just fiction, has no bearing on reality, it's contributing to purity culture... Do not support someone from being a pro-shipper. And that she and everyone does weird things like that in fiction. And they talked about how she had some pro-ships and started justifying Dobcon. I have no idea what Dobcon is, but non-consensual as well. Oh my god, so uh, redo of healer. Dangerous, extremely so. Unfortunately, the new generation is mentally insane. I, I, I genuinely do not know how they can justify the fact that Almost every single TV show has violence in it. Almost every single video game that's catering men has violence in it. In the past, there were religious people freaking out over, oh my god, there's violence in Tom and Jerry and there's dynamite and stuff. And, oh, violent video games and the GTA is a murder simulator, right? Like, like, that is the mentality that existed in the past. And if anyone brings it up now, we laugh at them. And we say like, okay, but it's just fiction. Like, what is wrong with you? But the moment you have like a little bit of sexuality, the moment that you have like a like a succubasu that is hypnotizing a guy, and the guy is hypnotized and starts making love to oh non-consensual, oh, this is why we have rapes on campuses. How are these people not realizing that they are not logically consistent? Like if you were to believe that everything in fiction translates to reality, then yes, I would understand. And you'd also be concerned, like, your my, my primary concern, if I believe that, would be with murder. It's like, oh my god, you can murder people in GTA. You can steal things in GTA. You can do all these, like, this is a game that's harmful. And I wouldn't even stop with video games. I would go with alcohol. Like, do you know how many people die because of liver damage? Do you know how many car crashes happen because of people are driving drunk? Do you know how many uh, women are being abused by their husbands because they're drunk? We need to ban alcohol. Like, if, if you genuinely, like, think that everything that's harmful, or could be, no, sorry, everything that could potentially be harmful for someone has to be banned, you'd start with alcohol, then go to video games, TV shows, so on and so forth. But these people have created, like, their own logic, like, their own code of conduct that is so fucking bizarre, it just doesn't resonate at all with my generation. Because either you believe that games are harmless, or they're harmful. I believe that they're, they're both, okay? Like, I believe that certain games for children can be harmful. So because of that, we need to have an age rating. I think the ESRB is inherently a good thing, right? Like, if you're under the age of 18, maybe you shouldn't play Manhunt. Or maybe you shouldn't play hentai games. Like, I agree with that. But besides that, like, once you are a grown-ass person, once you're an adult... I don't care if you ship the Winchester Brothers. It's disgusting, okay? Like, I do agree with that. It's horrible. However, it's fiction. It's words on the screen. Who gives a shit? I, I don't care if you're going to, to make up some non-consensual rape fantasy, redo of healer type crap. It's fantasy. No one cares. 
The only reason they care is because they want to seem virtuous. They want to seem like such a good person. Th this guy isn't really concerned about what his mother is doing. Like, he probably knows that he isn't in the right. Like, you're not going to be able to educate your mother. What he wants is a standing ovation from the internet. He wants to be told that he is a good guy and yes, you're, you're, you're doing the right thing and all of that. And that's the problem. You know, it's the vanity of people. They, they don't just want to do good things for the sake of doing them. No, they want recognition for doing them. They want the standing ovation. They want the internet to clap. They want the academic agent to make a video and congratulate this person for what a pillar of the Western society he is. That, that's what it's all about, right? And it's also the fact that the mother is sinful. Like, look at the mother. She's making non-consensual erotica. Oh, the horror. And, you know, I get it. Like, the mother is promiscuous and whatnot. And uh, maybe she doesn't live the perfect life. But which mother does, you know? But, but okay, fine. If your beef is that your mother is promiscuous, going around and talking about it on the internet isn't going to solve it. Like, you, you have other issues there. And, you know, we get the patterns that we do. Like, some people end up with alcoholic fathers that are deadbeat, good for nothing. They're not trying to get a job. They, they may end up beating the kid for no reason. Right? Like, some people have those parents, and they have to deal with them. You, apparently, I, I don't know the situation in this guy's family, but you, you seem to have a mother that enjoys erotica online. Could be better, could be worse. But, you know, like, to go around and judge her in front of the internet, is that what moral people do? Like, do you want to wash your laundry in public? And, and is this, like, what you want a standing ovation for? Right? Am I, am I wrong here? Am I wrong, Chad? Because I, I see a lot of right-wingers, like, siding with this guy. And it's like, oh, well, the mother is in the wrong. I, I'm sure if you take any person's life and you look at their internet history, you are going to find ample reasons why they are in the wrong. But is this something that you must air in public? Is this, is this something that you need to get recognition in public for being able to judge other human beings? It's not a skill, by the way. It's nothing very easy to do. Like, anyone can judge others. But are you the one living a moral and righteous life is the question. Like, are you the one that uh, should cast the first stone? I, I love these people that use religion in, in their argumentation. But they don't really genuinely, like, have concern for this woman. Like, they, they don't, like, genuinely want to help this guy. In his relationship with his mother. No, like, they just want to get the standing ovation from other people. It's like, oh, yes, well, this guy is right. This woman is horrible. Just by looking at a couple of lines of text. Um, and also, I don't think the, the woman is necessarily in the wrong. Like, everyone uh, does something. Again, like, let me see your internet history. And uh, I will decide if you have a right to, to speak on this issue or not. Um... And, and also, liking non-consensual, uh, big surprise, a lot of women do. Like, if you look at Google search history, you would be shocked. And just because the culture is telling you that it is wrong and you hear it from the academia and other things, when you look at what people are doing, you, you will notice with shock and dismay that non-consensual is very popular on the internet, and yet that doesn't actually cause people uh, to do crimes. Just like uh, someone who plays Mortal Kombat doesn't necessarily mean that he's a psycho and he actually likes to see guts and death in real life. Anyway, let me know what you guys think, and as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.